Boss Man Show, new head coach of the Binghamton Bearcats, Lavelle Sanders here with me. Because got some meetings, names here with us on the Boss Man Show. Coach Sanders, man, thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks for joining us. Good to talk to you for the first time, buddy. Appreciate you having me on. Appreciate you having me on. I'm excited. I like that Atlanta hat, too. Yeah, I wish to get some more wins, man. I need some more wins, but <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's going to happen. Yes, indeed. Well, tell me, Ms. Coach Sanders, uh, how did it make you feel when the university came to you and said, we want to make you an interim head coach after they moved on from Coach Dempsey? So, you know, you're getting the, the call from the university. They really must, must believe in you. You've been there for a few years. Tell us how that made you feel when they said, Coach Sanders, we, we believe in you. We want you to take this program over next year and build it the best way you can going forward. Yeah, it was, you know, it was it was it was a emo, kind of emotional roller coaster because um, when everything happened, of course, you know, in order for me to get this position, somebody had to finish. Right. So Coach Coach Dempsey gave me the opportunity to uh, to get on his staff. Um, and I'm you know I'm grateful for that. So, as I said, you know, when 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 they were telling me that, you know, they weren't going to renew, renew his contract. And, and if I wanted to uh, take over the position, you know, I was pretty excited. Um, you know, I, I, you know, a lot of people. A lot of people try to, you know, work a lot of years and try to get in this position and and, and don't have opportunity. And for me to be back, you know, in the U.S. for for two years and and, and get this opportunity, uh, I'm definitely appreciative uh, f- for that. Um, so yeah, so I was I was excited. I was I was super excited. I'm I'm still excited. But when I when I the initial talk on on Sunday was uh you know I was a little bit shocked because I wasn't really expecting it. But um definitely definitely excited for the opportunity. Most definitely. You've been a head coach over there in Europe, so it's not like you, it's your first rodeo being a head coach. It's your first time being a college head coach, dealing with all those NCAA regulations and rules you have to, 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 have to abide by. So for you, uh, seeing Coach Dempsey running on this program the last few years, so how prepared are you in your mind to be the head man here going forward? Because I know you've been a coach. You definitely aspire to be a head coach once again. So watching how Coach did his thing. So what things do you take from him to catch you move on in this role you have right now? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a, a, a lot different um, being uh, a head coach. You know, that you have so much more responsibilities. Um, coach Dempsey did a really good job of running the program. I mean, we have top-notch student athletes in our program, right? Um, you know, we have a, a fan base that's that's excited. Um, you know, um, he did a good job of, 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 you know, helping and engaging, you know, the, the fan base. Um, actually, just talking to uh, we just had a fundraising meeting and, you know, Tom Garvey, who's in charge of that, was was telling us that, you know, Coach Dempsey did a, a really good job with that. So we have to make sure we continue, you know, the, the, the things he, he did. Um, a lot of times when you take over a program, I think people like to talk about going in a different direction and, and all those type of things. And I think that kind of undermines some of the things that the coach prior, you know, what, what they did. Um, so we, we want to kind of kind of continue to build on the things he did. But. Um, I think every coach, um, if you put 10 coaches in a room, probably all 10 coaches will have different ideas, different styles of play. Um, so we, you know, we definitely want to do some things differently, but uh, definitely continue to build on, on what Coach Dempsey did. And, that, and you know, as you said, I was a, I was a head coach overseas, which is, um, you know, I think coaching professionals are, are different than coaching in college kids. As you said, there are a ton of rules and, and things you have to abide by, and, and you know, just in terms of practice and. Um, things like that, you have to give, you know, guys a certain number of days off, whereas, you know, as, as a professional, when you coach in overseas, that's your job. You know, there, no you don't want to give a guy a day off. You don't have to. You know, if you feel that we need to work, you know, for seven days in a row, you're going to work seven days in a row. So, you know, there are some adjustments you have to make. But I think the good thing, uh, the one thing I didn't have overseas was I only had one assistant coach. And, um, you know, so you, you, you kind of have to wear a lot of hats, whereas here, you know, you have three, four of the coaches you're working with but you also have administrators and you also have you know, compliance people and academic people that help you out you know so you have a good support system um to help you over here and that's what I, I like that's the one thing that I was looking forward to when I when I you know when I decided I wanted to come back was I was looking forward to the collaboration of being able to get in the room and 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 have you know three four other coaches there and and everybody kind of bounce ideas off each other because um, I think you know that that's the thing that really helps a, a program strive. Um, of course, the, the head coach has to have a vision, but I think you have to have people around you that can help you bring that vision to fruition. And I, I definitely believe we have we have that here. Now, Coach, for you come out of Jamaica, Queens, 
playing overseas, at what point did you say in your mind you wanted to begin the coaching? I know a lot of players would love to play, but then a lot of players don't want to get into coaching. So at what point for you did you decide you want to get into coaching from playing overseas and being, coming out of Jamaica, Queens, a great part of New York City there? So tell us about that. Right. I, I, don't, I, I went to high school in Jamaica, Queens. I'm from Brooklyn, though. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Okay. So, so you're Brooklyn um, BK in the house. Right, 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 right. Um, but you know what? It wasn't until I, I never thought I would be a coach. Um, but when I, you know, towards the end of my career, playing career, I became a player assistant. Um, so I was, you know, I was, a, I was a player, but I also I was an assistant coach. And that was kind of the first time where I was like, oh, this, you know, this is, this is cool. And I, I you know, I always thought of myself as a, as a smart basketball player, have a high basketball IQ. Um, so it wasn't hard for me to, to make the transition. But again, I, I, I think it was until like 2014, maybe when I, when I thought, you know, when I started to think about, you know, well, you know what, maybe I can, I can coach. And because I did, you know, I played till I was 40 years old. So I had, you know, my, I didn't have the athletic ability. I didn't have the speed and quickness. So I had to kind of, I had to use my, my, my brain, right. To be successful, um, which I also think helped me a lot. You know, I think a lot of times, especially, you know, coaches, um, I know for me, I think the, the great thing that helps me is that if I'm trying to talk to a kid about, you know, how to beat, you know, for example, an ice defense where they push you to the baseline and trying to keep you on one side of the floor. Like I actually played against that, right? Because I, you know, again, I was a player just five years ago. So a lot of the things that these kids are seeing, I, I, I played against. And I know I knew how to beat it as a player. So it helps me as a coach. I remember um, last last season, my, my first season here in Binghamton, you know, we had a you know really good point guard, Sam, Sam, Sam Sessoms, and he um, ended up transferring to Penn State. But he was a you know, really good player. And I remember the first game of the year we were playing against Cornell and they started to, you know, again, they were, they were icing him on, on the, on the sideline, trying to keep him on one side of the floor. And I was just trying to give him some, 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 some tips and pointers. Um, because again, as I said, I had, I had played against that defense and, 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 and nothing against coaches that haven't played against it. I just think it gives me a kind of unique oh, yeah. advantage. Um, because I, I have seen some of, some of the things and I have played again as recently as, as, as five years ago. So, um, definitely. I'm um, looking forward to, to to being a head coach again. No doubt. And for you, Coach, uh, building a program is so key to building a culture, having the right guys on your team and on your program, because if you get the wrong guy, can just direct the whole thing. It mess up any progress you have. So how do you envision building this program, knowing that you have this year here as the interim head coach, that make sure it's good and you can cement yourself as the head coach of Binghamton going forward? Yeah, you know, I think um, – so Tommy Amica – He's a coach at Harvard, right? He 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 was uh he coached me my senior year at Seton Hall, and we we have a pretty good relationship. And whenever there are kind of major decisions, I, I always talk to him. And one of the, one of the first things he told me was that um, don't coach as if you're trying to get the job, but coach as if you have the job, right? So I don't look at the interim tag um, as I want to prove something to somebody. You know, I'm going to go about my business as if I'm, you know, the head coach of, of Binghamton University. And then I think that's that's important. Um, secondly, I think that we have really good um, um, student athletes in our program already. Um, and as I said, I think each coach has a different way of doing things. Uh, of course, I would do some things um, a little bit different than, 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 than uh, Coach Dempsey did. Um, again, doesn't mean good or bad, but I'm just, we'll do some things uh, different differently than he did just because we are two different people. Um, so, you know, and, and, you know, we, our guys are, you know, off right now. We're going to start back, you know, April, April 5th. And, and it's going to be from April 5th, you know, we're going to implement, or we're going to, you know, start doing things or the culture that we want to create, you know, we're going to start that April, April 5th. And then it's just about, you know, enforcing that, you know, on a, on a daily basis, uh, we have to build, you know, there's certain habits you have to build, um, as a as as a player as a, as a team um, to to be successful um, and you know of course it's, it's hard work right we we all know without hard work you, you can't accomplish anything um, and then it's not going to be easy you know it's not going to be easy as I told the guys everybody's going to pick us last you know coming into the, coming into the season and and rightfully so right we we haven't really you know pro- proved ourselves to be to be you know successful. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's true. 
right? And, and it's and it's our job, and it's and we have an opportunity to to go out and prove everybody wrong. You know, I, I look at, um, and I think you had him on your show, uh, Dennis Gates. You know, who uh, head coach at Cleveland State. Oh you yeah. Know, we, you know, we we I reach out to him a lot, and he's a, you know, he gives me gives me a lot of advice. But you know, again, he had a program that he took over, and in two years, look what they look what they're doing. So. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and, 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 and Coach Gates is, is a sharp guy, and, and I really respect what he what he's doing. But again, it's about it's about the daily grind. It's about putting in that work, and you you can't take shortcuts. So uh, we have we have the people in place. Of course, we have to add to our team in in terms of you know adding you know players and, and things of that nature. But again, as you said, you have to you have to have a vision. You have to have a culture to to, to kind of. Uh, reinforce that that vision and and then after that it's about implementing that it's about um it's about enforcing that um and it's about again the daily grind of just wanting to be better day by day you got that right coach and i see with my intro on here it's about kind of being accountable i know it's a radio show i'm doing the hosting but hey Things you got to do behind the scenes, they got to hold you accountable to. If you want to be good in this business, I've been in this business for 10 years. You have to do it a certain way to make it work for you. So I, I'm saying thing here, Coach. These young interns here from these schools running around Atlanta, Atlanta, man, I got to teach them, hey, this is how you, this is how you get hit in this business. You can't do it half, half doing it. You know, you, you half make it, you, you, you get half to pay. Trust and believe that, you know. Right, right. And, and, and I also think that, you know, I, I'm, I'm big on not just – the players have to, to to develop and get better, but I'm also everybody in the program, right? Like yes. coaches, uh, you know, different departments. Like we all have to get better, right? We all have to want to seek uh, information. Uh, we also have to, you know, we can't think we know everything, and that, that's me. I, I don't think I know everything. I'm I'm I'm, I'm very open to, to different ideas. Um, I've played for a lot of, of of coaches who were that way. That um, you know you kind of talk about that kind of that, that growth mindset. Um, so I played for a lot of, a lot of coaches that, that were that way and, and welcomed, you know, feedback and, and, and I'm going to be the same way. And and if we do that, I think we can grow together um, as a, as a, as a university. Um, again, I, as I said, just talking to, to Tom today, and got a lot of great ideas from him. And again, it's about, you know, how you can make this better, how you can make that better. But, but again, it's all a process of getting better, right? You have to, you can always get better. I don't care what are you doing. I don't care how successful you are. You can yes. always improve, right? So that's what we have to we have to have that mindset that we we we, we want to be hungry to improve and get better. Most definitely, and coach, it's so in paramount because you know when you strive to be the best and try to get better every day, you will get better. Like you know, in your business, get better by winning games. For me, it's getting the biggest guest possible and also controlling the narrative as well. Because I don't want to be told who I can and cannot talk to. I see if I wrote somewhere else. They would tell me, I can't talk to you because you're not local to Atlanta. But guess what? Right. I own my own thing. I do my own what I want to. Guess what? I can talk to Lavelle Sanders when I want to. Dennis Gates right. when I want to. Learn the Hamilton when I want to. And not have to ask somebody, a GM, can I do it? That's the beauty of it. And when you strive to be the best, the, big, big, the biggest guest you can in my business, or in your case, win as many games as you can, get, make great young men as well. Because it's also about being a student athlete and becoming a great young man after Binghamton, after you get that degree, hopefully, and play internationally or in the NBA, if that's, if that's your path, be becoming a great human being in our society, which is also very important as coach for me growing in, in terms of you growing young college basketball players into men. Definitely. And I think that, you know, when you when you when you take on a responsibility and when you, you talk to parents and you tell parents that you're going to, you know, you would like to recruit their kids and you want, you know, their, their son you know, to come to your university. You know, you have a responsibility, um, and it's it's the whole college experience. You know, it's not just about playing basketball. You know, I want student athletes when they come to Binghamton, um, they have a, a whole experience. You know, I went to college; I know exactly what that is. Um, you know, you want to be able to be a well-rounded um, after you leave 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 school because I always, you know, for me, I went to Seton Hall University, but I had an opportunity to go to Princeton coming out of high school. Um, but of course I didn't understand the value of that. Right. Um, and I, I love Seton Hall. This is, it's a great school, but you know, when you have, when you can go to a school like Princeton, the Ivy league institution, um, the, the resources you have, the people that you have, uh, at your disposal, um, you know, it's, 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 it's amazing, you know? Um, so again, what, what I'm saying is that Binghamton is an academic, it's a great academic institution. So number one, Anybody that's coming here 
um, has to know that, you know, it's your student athlete, right? You come here to become a, to be a student athlete. And that student part, we take very seriously. Um, our president take that very seriously. Our athletic director take that very seriously. Uh, myself and my coaching staff, we take that very seriously. So we want, you know, we want to bring kids here to get a, to have a great experience. Um, you know, and after you leave here, you know, we don't want to say, okay, you played four or five or three years and then you're, you know, you're done. You know, we want to continue to be able to help kids. Um, we want to continue to, to kids, then there'll be, there'll be men, but we want to continue to help them uh, become the, the people uh, in, in, in the society that they, they, they would like to be. Um, and if that's helping, you know, with jobs, if that's, you know, for me, playing it overseas as long as I've played and I've developed a lot of relationships over there. You know, if kids want to want to go overseas and play, um, I, I can help out with that. And I think that's also a, a great experience, you know, to be able to go live and 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 um survive in in in, in another culture, in another country. Um is is it, I mean it was big for my development. It opened my mind up in, in so many different ways. Um, being from Brooklyn, New York, you know, you think that Brooklyn is kind of the end all be all, but then when you get an opportunity to go out and go to the Czech Republic and and, and live in Poland and live in Belgium and, and, and visit Turkey and all of these different places, you get opportunity to see how other people live, and it makes you appreciate what you have, um, what you you know what you what you've been through. I, I always say you know I wouldn't want to be from any other place. I think Brooklyn, you know, raised me and and and. and the, the way I was raised in Brooklyn, it, it helps me, it helped me get through everything that I've, I've been through in life. So um, definitely, you know, when, when, it, when a kid is thinking about being at the university, we want them to, to think about the, the, the full student athlete experience. Um, and that's what we try to expose them to. Well, Coach, I'll definitely be helping you out any way I can. If you want to come on the show and discuss the university, uh, get guys from Georgia to come up there and play for you because a lot of diamonds in the rough down here in Georgia. And the coach, coach, coach Coach Sanders, he's, I, I, I believe in him. I, I'll put my stamp on it. I believe in Coach Sanders. So, Coach, if you want to come on the show ever again, if between now and the summer, whenever, man, let shoot me a text. You're on the show. We'll talk about Brooklyn. We'll talk about playing at the Meadowlands. We was in college, man. All that good stuff, man. I love those yeah. places over there, man. Man. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, yeah, so different, man. I, I went back to uh, we play NGIT. They actually have two guys from Georgia on their team, but we um, we went to to Newark. I mean, we we play right right in Newark, right? And so that was my old stomping ground. But it looks it looks so different, you know. It looks so different now. They have the big you know the Prudential Center down there. Um, it was a lot easier. We had we played in the Meadowlands, so kids had to you know drive 40, 45 minutes away. So it was you know. It, but now they just go right downtown Brooklyn, up right down to downtown Brooklyn, downtown Newark, um, to the Prudential Center. But yeah, I, I definitely will, you know, I definitely like to stay in contact. I appreciate you having me on the show. Um, you know, it's 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 good for me to be able to do these type of things because you know it, it gives me an opportunity to let people know who I am, let people know about our university. Um, and I was talking to our coaches uh, just this morning, and we're talking about you know building our brand, right? We we need to build our brand. So as you said, we can tap into the Georgia market. You know, we can tap into the, the South and, 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 you know, of course, I, the Northeast is kind of where we do a lot of our recruiting. But, hey, my, my mother lives in, in Georgia or she lived in Georgia. I got family in Georgia. I got family in North Carolina. So I would like to, to take some trips down there to, to recruit and, 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 and see people. So I definitely appreciate the, the opportunity to be on the show, man. And hey, when you come down to Georgia, I got you. We go get some taco mac, some so we go get some seafood. We go get whatever you like, Coach. In ATL, I know where to take you, man. And Coach, my job here for me is I want to give black coaches an opportunity to be heard in here in Atlanta. Uh, my platform is about giving you all a platform because you don't get talked to. Listen, so only something bad happens. You win a tournament game, and that's how they talk to you. I want to talk to you on a random day in March or random day in July about your program, what how workouts are going because. It all that matters because if you don't get covered, you, nobody ever know who you are, what you, what you got building. So I want people to know about Binghamton. I want any any black head coach. I'm trying to give y'all a platform on this show. Some that someone come on the show, that's their prerogative. But hey, those who do, I love you all, and I and I, and I support you all. I do everything that I can for you all to help you all use this platform, use this show, promote stuff, promote your tweets. I do everything I can to help you guys because that's my way of serving you guys, giving even back to the community, by helping you all. 
Appreciate it. I uh, appreciate it. And likewise, I mean, you know, anything I can do within the, the NCAA rules to, to, to help, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it, you know. And uh, again, I, as I said, we, I definitely will be reaching out to you because, again, those 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 opportunities, again, as you said, we need we need those opportunities to promote promote our, our uh, universities, to promote what we have going on. Um, and we do have a lot. I think we do have a lot to offer um up up here in, in, in Binghamton and again it, it might not be a school that a lot of people know about right now but you know we have plans on, on changing that um and, and again it's it's, it's it's a start with the hard work so I appreciate it Thank, thanks for the opportunity anytime coach coach you be safe man talk to you real soon buddy take care all right now